Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode I'd like to show you a new functionality um, in Microsoft List where we can import from a CSV file. Yes, a CSV file, not only a Excel file. So let's see how we do it. So I'm now in the team site. We could do it also from the Microsoft uh, List um, homepage. What I will do, I'll click on new and I will click on list. Now we see an additional uh, possibility in addition to a blank list or from existing list or from Excel, we now have from a CSV. I'll just show you the CSV file. So this is the Excel file, which I saved as a CSV. Let's see what we have here. We have a description. We have a URL, we have a number, we have a name of a user, and we have a mail. Now, um, what I will do is actually I will click from CSV and I will upload the, the file. By the way, the way I saved the Excel as a CSV was I, I created the Excel, went to File, did File Save As, and here I chose a uh, CSV comma deliver delimiter. Okay, so let's close this. And actually we will upload the file or import. This is my CSV. And uh, let's see what we see. So uh, the first column is identified as a title. That's okay. Now this is new. Hyperlink is now a possibility to import. Wow. I'll just show you uh, when we import um, an Excel file, it doesn't give this possibility. So the member actually has, it's a number, so we can change it to a number. And now um, it, I have the name of the user, what I can do is to change it as a person and group. And this is was not possible in importing in Excel. Also this mail also I can identify and it identifies automatically as a people and group. Just notice that we have lots of, uh, we can say do not import, we can say import as multi-line, a single as yes no or choice we will check that later on so let's click next let's give it a name and let's do create now it's importing it let's see so it gives me a report that something is not okay some data could not be imported rows 1 4 7 and 10 and 13 and it's asked me, should I re-import or continue um, for the rows which are okay? I know that these rows are not okay because the email has a hashtag before that. So let's just continue and actually, voila. Look, the title is a text. Now the URL is a link. That's amazing. The user is actually a user which it identifies and also the email actually that I imported is now uh, like that. Just to show you how the limited uh, functionality was in importing from Excel, um, let's just open the Excel and take an um, example. So we will have, uh, I have this Excel this is saved as a table and let's try to import it. You will see it will not identify all of the possibilities. So what I will do is actually let's go to this and actually I will uh, import a new list and from Excel because that's what I wanted to show you and let's look for the file. This is the file. You'll notice that there's less types that are available. 
So it's fetching. If I go here, it doesn't give me your uh, 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 people or group or link, hyperlink. So this is a major improvement and I think this people will start working only in CSV. It's an extra step to save the file as from Excel to CSV. Uh, sometimes the file comes from other systems as CSV, but this is giving us lots of functionality and this is why I want to show you it. So actually, this is what I wanted to show you. Hopefully, um, it comes to your tenant soon. And um, yeah, if you like this video, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.